turned out as so i clicked on the messages it says it has 88 pores that are available for for sequencing it also said that it didn't meet the temperature uh, but it went ahead and go through with the, the process so we've got 88 pores at this uh, step and the flow cell uh, is ready to go uh, what i want to do now is show you how to set up that sequencing run so i'm going to go ahead and rotate this Click on MN34896 till it turns green. Then click on New Experiment. And now it's asking for our flow cell uh, ID again. A E Q. And I forgot it, so I'm going to peek. 673. The other thing I need to put in is a sample. So I'm going to say strawberry aphid. And I need to give this an overall experiment name. I'm just going to go ahead and say straw aphid. It has to be different than the other input. Then I'm going to rotate that. Looks like we got all the necessary parts in there. And off to the left here, as I scroll, you'll see which kit are you using. We're using the field sequencing kit, which is SQRSQKLRK001. Everything else, uh, we can go ahead and just use uh, what would be uh, the defaults there. Okay, I'm not going to click start run because what I want to do next uh, in the next uh, two minutes here is actually load the device with the sample. Uh, but it's all ready to go. Just need to load it, then click start run. All right, so we're ready to load the uh, Minion. Oxford Nanopore Genome Sequencer. We've got our flongo in there. It had 88 pores in it. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up now. It's got a little tape here, which is kind of difficult to get off. I use a pipette tip sometimes. Just kind of pop that off of there. There we go. Then you pull evenly in this opposite direction until it stops. And you're gonna stick that tape down in the lid of the minion like that. Next, I'll grab my pipette tip. It's set to 120 because uh, we had 117 of buffer and three of other uh, tether. Uh, so I'm just going to mix this, make sure it's good. After it's mixed, you don't want to bubble in here. Uh, you want to, uh, there's a little pore in the sample port down in the bottom. You want to try and find that little pore kind of by wiggling it around there. It's almost impossible to see, but there's a little pore there. I put a little pressure, and I hold here, and a little pressure, and you want to pipe it super slowly. And the next thing I'm going to do now is load our sample. I'm going to bring this down to 30 microliters. I'll call it a little 31 because I'm going to stop just a little short there. Now we're going to mix this. There we go. I'm going to mix this without dropping it. Take this sample from there and go ahead and put it in here and mix that up. And we want 30 of this to go in that same. Uh, sample port where the pore is at. Let me get rid of all that. Okay. Same idea. We don't want to put a bubble in there. We want to try and find that little uh, pore and then pipe it slowly. Okay, 
At this point now, I need to put the tape back on. There's two pores on the side where these little dots are. Let's go over those. It's a little flimsy, but it kind of works, these little dots like that. And then we go ahead and close it up. Now we're ready to start the sequencing run.